hi guys in this video i'm going to be taking you through the simplest way i make my multi-purpose liquid soap at home that is perfect for washing your dishes mopping the floor washing your car and even doing a whole lot like washing your clothes you can use this in your washing machine and it comes out perfectly well now as a stay-at-home mom who has been looking for a business idea this is a perfect one for you because after going through this video you would be able to make your own liquid soap supply to schools and hospitals around you and even save yourself a whole lot of money because you will no longer be buying liquid soap anymore from the market now if this sounds like what you are interested in let's delve straight into this video in a 20 liters bucket, I am going to pour in 5 liters of water because we are making 10 liters of this multi-purpose liquid soap. Now to mix the first chemical, I will need a small bowl, scoop a little water out of the 5 liters and then start mixing. Now nitrosol has the ability to become lumpy if you are not careful and that's why it is good to mix it with a little amount of water to avoid the lumpiness i'll keep doing this until i'm very certain that there are no lumps before i'll pour it into the 20 liters bucket i'll keep mixing to ensure that it incorporates very well into the 5 liters water. The next chemical is the caustic soda. I'm equally going to be pouring this in a little amount of water to mix. Now, the caustic soda has the ability to get hot upon contact with water. So you have to be careful so it doesn't touch your skin. And that's why it's advisable to wear gloves. Now that I've poured it into the nitrosol mixture, you realize that it has become thickened. Take a look at it. I'll keep stirring this very vigorously until I introduce the next chemical, which is the XLS. S L S is grainy, so some people call it rice. Into a small bowl. I will also mix this. And I'll keep on stirring and stirring and stirring until it dissolves properly. When you notice that it has become foamy like this and the grains are no longer visible, it's the perfect time to turn this into into the remaining five liters of water in a separate bowl entirely now we're going to be mixing this along with two other chemicals the soda ash which i'll be stirring very vigorously i'll be stirring this to ensure that there are no lumps before i will add the next chemical which is the STPP to get a perfect texture for your liquid soap you have to do a whole lot of arm work your arms will tell you that you have done something at the end of the day but keep staring we're almost there You know, I always tell people, if I can do it, you too can do it. It's not hard. Just to follow the procedures as laid down in this video and you will get it right. Now, after I've mixed these two chemicals, I'm going to be pouring this into the other mixture.
Making your liquid soap is just as simple as you can see in this video. Don't get it wrong, don't get it twisted. You can buy your chemicals from any chemical shop near you. All you need to do is to tell them the quantity of soap you intend to make and they will give it to you, all the chemicals. So follow the steps. Now I'll keep stirring this. If you look at it, you realize that our soap is already foamy. It's foamy already. Now mixing them in different bowls actually makes your mixing a lot easier. The next chemical that goes in is the sulfonic acid, which I'm going to be mixing with texapone. You know, there are lots of people who don't like to follow procedures. But if you follow this process, you're going to come out with a very fine texture of multi-purpose liquid soap that you would love. So follow to the end. I'm going to be mixing these two chemicals together. Just keep mixing. So you get something like this. I will equally pour this into the larger bowl of mixtures. Now keep mixing and mixing and mixing until I get a very perfect texture, ensuring that none of these lumps of chemicals are separated, that all of them have combined very conveniently it is when i'm done with this mixing that i'll add any other chemical keep watching try not to skip this video it is for your own good now you can see that the texture has come around so soft smooth silky and slick the next chemical is the foam booster this actually makes your soap foam and lather very well i'll keep mixing this and um, very important safety precaution to observe is to ensure to use plastic materials and wooden materials only now i'll be going in with my preservative and this is because i'll be using this soap for about six months or so the preservative is necessary for preserving this liquid soap so that it doesn't go bad you can skip it if you want but for people who sell they usually do not apply the preservative the next thing i want to add to this chemical is the fragrance and this now goes to your choice and your preference if you get to the chemical shop just let them know what fragrance is your preference i'll be mixing this all together again until we add the final chemical it's time to add the color this color is green but you're not restricted to using green. There's yellow, there's pink, there's blue, any color of your choice at all. To dissolve this, I'll need a little amount of water in a bowl. I'll ensure it mixes properly because this is powder form. If you don't do this, it will be difficult to mix properly into the large bowl of soap. I'm going to be pouring this in and use my spatula again. And for the final time, I'll be giving this a very vigorous stir to allow for incorporation of the color into the chemical. 
And at this point, you can tell that we have done a great job with this soap. You see how thick this turned out. But we're not going to be using it like this. So I'm going to be diluting this with some water. This time around, because of the quantity of chemical already in the bucket, I'm just going to be careful with adding the water so that it doesn't spill while stirring. You can use a large bowl while making yours so that it can accommodate more water. Now, that's what I'm going to be doing off camera. And our soap is ready. Yes. I just had to test this with my hand. Can you see how foamy this is? Yes, this is what we have been able to do. You can do it too. I'm excited because somebody is about to start earning some money with this video. You can use it to wash your dishes and it comes out so clean. You can also use this to wash your car. And you also get a clean effect just like this. You can also use it to mop your floor and you'll get an amazing result. In total, all I got was 20 liters out of the 10 liters for the chemical. So if you were to sell this, I'm sure you will make a lot of gain. And if you were buying this, you'll be saving yourself a whole lot of money. Don't sleep on this video. Share it, like, and subscribe. Let me know in the comment section where you are watching us from. And also let me know if you'll be trying this out. Now, see you in my next video. Bye-bye.